Alright guys, I've got the CMP auto engineering tie rod and front control arm um, bump steer correction kit installed. I've been driving on them and I haven't had it on the track yet and I don't drive crazy on the street so I haven't pushed it to the uh, limit or anything like that. Um, but I can tell a difference under hard cornering if you hit a bump and you're lowered Normally that'll give you some bump steer depending on your alignment, tires, suspension, etc. Did notice some improvement there with the spacer kit. This is a mod that'll be mostly appreciated by people that really drive the car hard or take it to the track um, because these are going to be most effective when you're in positions where um, the front wheels are under compression uh, and you're trying to correct that geometry. So hard cornering, uh, hard braking into a turn, stuff like that, which you're not gonna see if you're just driving it nicely on the street. So I would recommend these. Uh, it does make sense from a logical standpoint and having driven them. Anecdotal perspective, if you're not lowered, uh, don't bother um, because the whole point of correcting the geometry is for lowered cars. This is, um, putting the arms in a more neutral position and the suspension geometry, which you have moved out of its neutral position by lowering your car. It's a cheap mod. Uh, if you're already doing, if you're replacing your tie rods or doing M3 control arms, stuff like that, and you're already taking the arm off, you might as well throw them on top of there, um, obviously, if your car is lowered. They do also sell a rear subframe bushing kit, which is also solid, and it, um, corrects the geometry back there, but I already have the rev shift solid rear subframe bushings and I do not want to do that job again. Um, but I would have bought the ones with the uh, suspension geo correction uh, the first time had I not already done them. NVH wise, I didn't notice any difference, which I wouldn't expect to. You're not eliminating a rubber bushing or anything like that. You're just lowering the uh, mounting point. Um, so no difference in daily driving, no harshness or noise or anything like that. So only benefits, no negatives. Um, yeah, I'd recommend it. Um, if you're pushing the car hard and you're lowered, uh, it makes sense to do. Thanks for watching.